Hey Wizard, so as committed in the last video, I'm gonna take you through the updates and upgrades to expect that are gonna hit the platform within 24 hours from posting this video. Before I do that, I just wanted to say a massive thank you to you because I've had emails from seasoned traders, traders who have traded for decades and ideas and discussions and feedback that has helped to lead to what I'm very excited to be showing you here because it's been six to eight months of work that frankly, I've absolutely loved. But nonetheless, this has been very much a two-way street. So thank you so much for taking the time to actually support not only the channel and not only the platform, but to actually help me work on something I love and improve it over this last year. Now let's get into it because most of the time and effort has been put towards developing around statistical arbitrage. As you know, this is sort of the flagship application of Crypto Wizards. And so I'm gonna spend a good amount of time on this now. You'll also note that the other applications have been moved to desktop applications. And the reason for that is because we have so far been developing, you know, Crypto Wizards to be this sort of one-stop shop for everything, but it's all been online. And a lot of these applications might've been useful, especially the arbitrage ones, for a period of time, and then they're not useful at all. And so that's not gonna work. Long-term, that doesn't work. I plan to be around here a long time. This is what I love doing. And so the idea was, let's actually turn these into applications. So I'm gonna launch the application here. The first thing you're going to notice is that the layout here has changed dramatically. We've now got these tabs up here at the top where you can open up you know, multiple pieces of analysis here. And it'll remember what tabs you had open as well, as though this was an actual program, which is really cool. So here I'm looking at say Solana versus Bitcoin and I could have, you know, whatever cryptos on whatever exchange or stocks I want to. And in fact, if you want stocks, you can just go here, select Forex or stocks. And I'm gonna put in AAPL for Apple. And here I'm gonna put TSLA for Tesla. And here I'm gonna put in daily time frame. So the only difference between crypto and stocks really is crypto, you can use intraday time frames like to your heart's content. Daily in one hour works best for crypto. And for stocks though, daily mainly, because for Forex and stocks, the intraday data is not great. But for daily data, it's absolutely fine. And here I can go and refresh that. And now I've got you know all of this, I've got back test results that I can go and alter and change and tweak with here, you know, live. This is a full backtest running live as I'm scrolling this. And for those of you who are interested in development or you're into coding, etc., I will be talking about the tech stack that really was a game changer for this on the Code Raiders YouTube channel. So if you're into the coding side, feel free to go and check that out. I will be talking about it because doing a full rewrite actually meant we could bring some pretty amazing abilities here in managing a lot of data and number crunching. So that's super cool and pretty fun. So this is your sort of custom analysis. But if we go back to the scanner, the actual main scanner here, Crypto Wizard scans for hourly and daily opportunities for crypto and Forex. So stocks right now we're not scanning, but Forex we are. And you'll see they all show here. Now they're organized in order of Z-score, whether the Z-score is strong right now or not, or at least strong as of when the opportunity or the snapshot of the opportunity was taken whether or not it's the latest one over here. So here we could show the latest timestamp. I could do it based on which ones are co-integrated only, all of that. So here you can really play around with this to your heart's content. The nice thing here is it's actually showing you a spark line of what the spread looks like. And this is a dynamic spread. So once you see one of these, you might like the look of it, you want to investigate it more, you can just click on it. It'll give you at least a look at the spread and you know the price action. But what I can also do is then click on this and it will open up a custom tab for that item over here. And then, so if I go back to the scanner, it's gonna remember where I am. Now here you can also set an alert. So you can just, as we did before, have Telegram alerts alert you when say a certain trigger happens, either with the Z-score or the spread, whatever that gets to. And you can also track your trades here. So you can go and simulate a trade, go long or short on the pair, and that will go and track those for you here. In fact, here, if I just go and submit one right now and I go over here to positions, you'll see here's my long and my short. And then if I go and I close those, you'll see here they are in my closed positions. And if I were to set alerts over here, you would see you know, the alerts that I could manage here just as before, except the interface is a bit nicer. Now, of course, this does have a wizard dark mode. So this is how I like to 
use the application is I like to work in dark mode. And so if you're somebody who spends a lot of time in front of a screen, this could be very beneficial for you. So I'm just gonna go and close those down now. But this is really the Z-Score application. You can see a lot of improvements have been baked into this. And the one that I'm most excited about is this dynamic spread versus static spread. Now these are custom built charts, so you can actually click on here and set certain levels to see this a bit better. So here, you know, buy here, sell here, buy here, sell here, wherever you set your levels at. And then down at the back testing, again, I'll go into this in more detail when I do some more videos, but you can set where to open and close your long position at, where you can open and close your short position at, and you can choose whether it's the Z-score you wanna trade or the spread. And so if it's the spread, you would need very different values because now you're dealing with the values of the spread. But if it's the Z-score, then you're using the values based on a Z-score. So this green line over here. So that is the custom analysis tool. And this is where I spend most of my time. I absolutely love it. And the scanner is obviously where a lot of value is because this is crunching numbers all the time for you. It's finding opportunities for you all the time. And I think what a lot of folk are gonna find useful is this Forex section over here. Right now it says Forex slash stocks, but on, again, on the pre-scan, it's just Forex for the time being. Now heading over to the desktop applications, we can start with Xtrader. I've got that open over here. Let's go and punch in some kind of stock we want data for. So Google from NASDAQ. And here it's gonna go and fetch the data and there it is. And it's saved here on my drive, it tells me where it's saved. And because it's on my desktop, I can deal with much larger data. In fact, if you wanna upload data from here, you can. And that is working a lot more robustly than it was before. So you can go and upload your, say, football data, horse racing data, whatever it is you wanna to upload to make predictions on, you can do that over here. So a good example of this is say I'm using Tesla here and I've got a target of predicting the next day. I can go over here to, I don't know, add returns onto the close price or let's say the low and the high price. Whatever it is you wanna do, you can add that in and it automatically saves very quickly. So you can see by the time I finish clicking, it's already saved that update. And then you can go and you know perform your machine learning tests that you want to over here, select any columns you want to select and it goes and just runs it for you. Like it knows every time you make an update because it's working so quickly, it can just go and make that change. So here, if I go and adjust, say this number, it's already trained the model. Like it does it super fast on whatever it is you're trying to predict. And then in terms of the back test, let's say here, I wanna, I don't know, back test Google over here. There we go, I've got a back test of whatever back test you wanna write in, just like the existing platform. So nothing new in terms of how you would type in a backtest prompt over here, but it'll go and run that backtest for you and give you very, very quick results as to how that's doing. So that's basically Xtrader. And then if we head over to ArbScan, ArbScan's pretty cool because you can just hit play and it will just go and analyze these arbitrage opportunities for you over here, right? So here I'm on the BNB chain, there's one that just popped up. I've got it at 0% arbitrage, right? So in other words, if it's above, anything above zero, it'll show. So they'll pop up fairly often here, but you can also adjust your depth here as well. So you can just have this running in the background and it's doing a custom search for you, meaning other people are not seeing that opportunity. You're seeing it if you're running that threshold at that point in time. And here I could change this, say, for Ethereum, and then it's going to flip in a second to a new token. There we go. Oh, it's analyzing flip. Funny that. Um, on Ethereum. And so now it's analyzing all of these from open ocean and trying to find, is there a potential opportunity? And if you want to, you can just click on this and it will open a browser window for you to just go and look at the price here. But you would usually have to adjust this. You usually do anyway. Open ocean is not a crypto wizards thing. Now, occasionally you'll notice like up there, a red error flicked on. That's because this uses the Open Ocean API as well. And occasionally it might push too many requests. Uh, then Open Ocean will put that on freeze and say, ah, you can't have any more data yet. And so then it'll pause and then it'll continue again and you know do that scanning for you. Meaning you can effectively do a live search and that was the benefit to bringing it here. And then if we look at Flash Gap, Flashcap is the same tool as before. These are pre-scan, Crypto Wizards is pre-scanning and simulating these arbitrage trades on Ethereum. I'm not bringing this to the BNB chain. 
look at the video two videos ago to see why, because I, I went in depth as to why I'm not doing that. Obviously, there's still a full Ethereum node running every month, finding these opportunities and finding them, you know, every minute, simulating the flash loan and saying, hey, I think there's something in these two tokens or sometimes three tokens, like here's a triangular arbitrage one. So you can still go and test these here. The downside to having this on desktop and not online is I can't use MetaMask in here. And so if you want to, if you trust this, which you should never trust anyone with your private key, just don't. Telling you in reality how I've built this, I built it so when you put your private key in here, um, and it should start with a zero X, I've just put in a fake one, but you know, if I put in my private key in here, it will let me trade and it won't ask your permission. Once you've done that and you click this button, it will go to place that trade. So, you know, there's a lot of warnings up here about using your private key or putting your private key anywhere. Nonetheless, for now, I know some people do trust it. Some people do want to be able to execute from the platform. So if that's you, I put that here for you, but just note it comes with a lot of warnings. Also in reality, it doesn't make sense to try to execute an arbitrage opportunity from here because bots already know the smart contract address that I've posted this algorithm to. So they already know if someone sends an arbitrage, they already know to watch out for that address. So if you do send one from here, the likelihood of it being profitable, in my opinion, is like near zero because there are literally people that are running bots on full nodes looking for contract addresses and then front running you. So from my perspective, it's absolutely not worth doing it here. It's worth copying these address addresses, plugging them into your own algorithm on whatever other platform you're using and trying it like that. I know it's a hard truth. For some of the future arbitrage tools I'm looking to develop, I really want to do stuff which is more cross-chain and stuff that has to be done manually anyway because that's where we can maintain some kind of edge. Nonetheless, I wanna be transparent with you around my thoughts on that. Now, of course, all training courses on Udemy are still included as well. So those are all over here. And of course, these two being the most recent ones. I've been doing a lot of AI development too. So this one here has done very well if you're into AI and that sort of thing. But the most recent one related to crypto is running your full node on Ethereum, exactly how to do that and to get that working at the lowest possible cost. Now with Xflow, because very, very few people are using that, the idea with this is to just cut it out completely and create a new tool, which is bespoke that people can use and customize themselves and actually run in the cloud at near zero cost. So if that's you, that'll be definitely very useful for you. Very few people are using Xflow, which actually surprised me because this is literally tracking on-chain information that tells you when tokens are being dumped on exchanges. What I found is you can't always trade that. And so what we have to be very specific about is what exchange is it being dumped on? Can I filter for the exchange I care about and for the tokens I care about? And I'm looking to build a sort of bespoke tool around that where you say you or I could just run our own custom model that goes and does that for the exchange that I like to work with. And so that could be super cool. Nonetheless, this video has been long enough, but I've been extremely excited to do it. It felt like I would never get here. It was a lot more work than I anticipated it being. And again, just a big thanks to the Wizards for all the support. You make it absolutely all worthwhile. Until the next one, take care and talk soon.